Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. The Franciscan Priors in India will be offering the masses for the following intentions. Thanksgiving Mass offered by Cheryl. Thanksgiving Mass offered by T. Nana Pragasam and family. For the soul of Vedamuthu Vyagulam offered by Michael. For the soul of Sarojini Arulanandam. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Augustine in his confession said, You have made us for you, O Lord. My heart is restless until I find in thee. My heart is restless until I find my rest in thee. This is what the confession of St. Augustine, which could be also the confessions or the proclamations of all the saints. They had the desire to find rest in the Lord because they knew they had been made for the Lord. And that is why the church today celebrates the feast of all the saints who have lived the holy life on this earth. The saints are the ones who always find joy and happiness in the Lord. They always find joy and happiness in their proclamation of the good news. They always found joy and happiness in living as witnesses. And that is why the church also calls all of us to give us a reminder that we also need to always find and enjoy happiness in the Lord. As we have come together for this Eucharist celebration to also celebrate the feast of all the saints, let us also pray for the grace that we may in our good works always find joy and happiness in the Lord. For this grace let us pray and to partake in this Eucharist celebration Let's call to mind our sins and failures and ask pardon from the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I, I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For the glory of we take V22. Your mercy, hear us. 
sensuous your mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate one celebration, the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Today's first reading is taken from the book of Revelation or from the book of Apocalypse. In the first reading, St. John describes his vision of heaven where God is victorious in all his angels and saints. This vision is so positively inviting that we are inspired to aspire for and to strive after a participation in their life. Let us now listen to this first reading. I beheld a great multitude which no man could number from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and tongues. First reading, a reading from the book of the Apocalypse, chapter 7, verses 2 to 4 and 9 to 14. I, John, saw an angel ascend from the rising of the sun with the seal of the living God, and he called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm earth and sea, saying, Do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees till we have seen the servants of our God upon their foreheads. And I heard the number of the seal, a hundred and forty-four thousand seal, out of every tribe of the sons of Israel. And after this I looked, and behold, a great multitude, which no man could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with the palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits upon the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood round the throne, and round the elders, and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne, and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these clothed in white robes, and whence have they come? I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation, they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm number 23. And our response to the psalm is, Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Stand in his holy place. 
the man with a clean hands and pure heart who desires not worthless things or respond such are the men who seek your faith o lord he shall receive blessings from the lord and reward from the god who saves him such are the men who seek him seek the face of the god of jacob or respond such are the men who seek your faith o lord the second reading is taken from the first letter of saint john heaven and eternal life begins here and now it begins when we acknowledge receive and respond to god's love in jesus and make this love contagiously to our fellow human being we shall seek god as he is a reading from the first letter of st john chapter 3 verses 1 to 3 See what love the Father has given us that we should be called children of God and so we are The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him Beloved we are God's children now it does not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he appears we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is and every one who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure the word of the lord thanks be to god shall we all rise for the gospel acclamation from the holy gospel according to st matthew glory be to you o lord chapter 5 verses 1 to 12 seeing the crowds jesus went up on the mountain and when he sat down his disciples came to him and he opened his mouth and taught them saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be satisfied Blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise 
my dear brothers and sisters the sermon on the mount by our lord jesus christ and the last verse of this sermon after addressing generally blessed are they blessed are they ultimately at the end he addresses to each and every individual blessed are you if you live for god's sake you will find reward in heaven and the last verse we can see is that rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven rejoice and be glad and that's exactly what all the saints have done in their lives whether they had found reward on this earth or not by the fact they found faith in god they were always rejoicing and they were always in gladness because they were in a way of the assurance they will receive the reward in heaven and when we look at certain principles or characters of these saints whom we all venerate today they also become an inspiration for all of us the first one we can see is that as we have heard the response of the psalm they always seek the face of the lord in whatever they speak in whatever they do in whatever they see in whatever they believe they always sought the face of god in all these things and that made them to be always rejoicing and be in gladness the second element that we can find in them is that whatever they had done on this earth they have always done with the cheerfulness there was no grumbling there was no sadness there was no hesitation all the time whatever works they had done there was cheerfulness on their faces for this we also have a very good example of saint teresa of child jesus whatever the tiny work she had done whatever the menial work she had done she had always done with a smile and that is why she was also in a way given a name saint teresa of child jesus the third element that we can find in them is that and whatever they had done with the cheerfulness there was always a result the result of satisfaction whether the others agreed or not whether the accepted the others accepted or not whether the accept the others have gone with them or not they had always found satisfaction within themselves as jesus christ also says in the gospel you must always say i am only a mere servant i have come to do the work the work that is given to me and that's what all the saints have done in their life they only say i have come to do only the works that are given to me i am only a mere servant and there they found the satisfaction they also might have taken these the teachings of christ on the mount where he always gave an assurance and promise they will be rewarded in heaven so they might have had all those things in mind for me the reward is not on earth but or in heaven so whatever i work whatever i do always i should keep in mind that i am doing the work of the lord and not to full uh, the satisfy or please the human persons on this earth because of that type of ideas they all had they were all rewarded in heaven and that is why we call them saints and another thing that we can find in them is that they never found a glory in themselves but always they found a glory in god even today also we see many of the saints we pray to to perform miracles to have some healing in our life and here we can say they have done all these things not out of their mesmerism not out of their magic but through their humble intercessions they implore the blessings of god and there they don't glorify themselves but they glorify god because of all these reasons with the church in a way happily celebrates these saints or venerates them because 
they have always sought the face of God and whatever they had done, they had done with a cheerful hearts and they found satisfaction in whatever they had done because they have done with the hands of God. They always glorified God. In the same way, we can also call ourselves saints because in the last verse of gospel today, he says, blessed are you. We are also the blessed ones. And that's what in the second reading, St. Paul clearly says, we are all children of God. So we are the blessed ones. We are the saints, provided we always seek the face of God. We always carry out the works of God with a cheerfulness and we find satisfaction and fulfillment in carrying out the God's work and we do not glorify ourselves but we, we only glorify God. In this we can also be assured that we are the blessed ones and we will be, we have to rejoice because we will find the reward in heaven. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, his, his only Son, our Lord, Lord who he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again. again. He ascended into heaven, and he is the right hand of the Father. He, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of our sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to God, our Creator, the source and author of all holiness, who has given us salvation in Christ. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Guide our world leaders to seek the way of peace and assist our brothers and sisters who are op oppressed. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Look with the kindness on those who have not had the gospel shown to them or who have lost their way. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Help those who are poor, who have no food or homes, who seek work. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Heal the sick and depressed, and let the lonely know the comfort of your love. Assist all in need of your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Grant that our sisters and brothers who have died and now rest in, rest in peace may share in your eternal life. Comfort us who remain in this life and who mourn their passing. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Be 80. and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you, are cr you crown your own gifts. By the way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, you are sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples a saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis our Pope and George Anthony Samir Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of this Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Happiness 
holy and created thing made peter weep after his betrayal and assured paradise to the repentant thief let us hear as if address to each one of us the words that you spoke to Samaritan woman gift of God, you are the visible faith, the invisible Father, who manifests His power above all by forgiveness and mercy. Send your Spirit and consecrate every one of us with His anointing, so that the jubilee of mercy may be a year of grace from the Lord and your Church with renewed enthusiasm may bring good news to the poor proclaim liberty to captives and the oppressed and restore sight to the blind. We ask this through the intercession of Mary, Mother of Mercy, you who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Pray to St. Anthony. Holy St. Anthony, you are the consolation of so many people. We come to invoke your help confident of experiencing your goodness and power, pray for us to Father of mercies that we may obtain the graces we need for ourselves and for our loved ones. True follower of St. Francis, put, put into our heart. hearts the flame of your love that we may love our merciful Father in heaven and our neighbors as ourselves. Pray that we may fulfill the will of God and live the way of Jesus shows us in the Gospels. Be a guide for us this day that we may recognize the opportunities God gives us to be helping and caring. Assist us in keeping the promises we made at our baptism. Help us to obtain the grace to walk in the light of faith and to proclaim that faith by the way we live. Amen. St. Anthony, light of the church, lover of God's law, and doctor of the gospel, pray for us to the Son of God. Let us pray to the Father in the verse that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. We thank you, Father, for giving us an Anthony who lived the gospel life so faithfully. Through his intercession, may the good news of Christ inspire us to build up your kingdom and make the world a more fitting place for all to live. With St. Anthony, we praise and bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to be banquet of our heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace of Christ. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.